his government have undertaken a coordinated cover-up of the we scandal as Pierre outlined this is uh, this is a situation where the Prime Minister's family benefited a half million dollars and in exchange for that benefit that organization was given a half billion dollar agreement with that's with their same government and at the same time we see the Trudeau government covering up the sexual misconduct allegations against the former chief of the defense staff. Now the pattern is the same in both. At first, Prime Minister Trudeau says he has no idea about the details, or in the case of the Wee scandal, his family wasn't paid. That was the original story. And then later, as the truth comes out, as documents come to light, as opposition politicians fight for answers for Canadians, in that case about how a half billion dollars of their money was to be given to an organization with these direct ties to the Prime Minister, the story changed. In the case of the sexual misconduct allegations, the Prime Minister originally said he first heard of this when the reporting started weeks ago. But now, of course, we know that not only did the Minister of National Defense know about these allegations and refuse to act? The Prime Minister's office was also aware. The Minister of National Defense had said at committee that when it was revealed, the Chief of Defense Staff, after allegations were made about sexual misconduct, that he was then given a sizable raise, the Minister said he had no part, no role, no input in that process. Well, Friday, testimony at the Defense Committee proved otherwise. That in fact, the minister is part of that process. And that in fact, his testimony at committee was not truthful. Canadians deserve accountability from their government. They deserve accountability on how their money is spent, a half billion dollars, when it's allocated to a group that has paid members of the Prime Minister's family and benefited them nearly half a million dollars. Canadians deserve answers. When parliamentarians investigated this initially, last summer, the Prime Minister had his government illegally redact documents then he prorogued Parliament, shutting down all of the committee's works. When committees resumed, many hours of filibusters ensued. It took the summoning of witnesses, a very rare step for parliamentary committees to exercise that power to get witnesses to come. And when the witnesses finally did come, Mark and Craig Kielberger, they revealed further contradictions with the testimony that the Prime Minister, his ministers, and staff had given. So after filibusters at multiple committees, after Parliament was shut down, after documents were illegally redacted, members of Parliament are looking for, they're looking for answers. They're looking to provide the truth and transparency to Canadians. We were promised in 2015 when Justin Trudeau ran that we would have accountability, we would have transparency, and that sunlight is the best disinfectant. Well, it's not sunlight blinding Justin Trudeau. He's blinded by his ambition and seeking to protect the corruption and the scandals in his own government. And he's going to great lengths to ensure that they remain hidden from Canadians. On Thursday of last week, members of Parliament laid out the case in the House to have witnesses testify at committee with key information about these issues. Zita Astravas to the Defence Committee, Ben Chin, Rick Tice and Amit Paul Singh at the Ethics Committee, as well as a due diligence report, should one exist, from the Privy Council office to be tabled with the Ethics Committee. 
all eminently reasonable requests by the opposition that were met with filibusters at committee. So when the House voted with a strong majority for those witnesses to appear at committee, we heard from the government House leader that they would instruct staff to defy the will of Parliament, to defy the will of Canadians. Well, as Pierre said, we, we have a solution and it's built in to our, to our discussions that we had in the House on Thursday and it allows for the Prime Minister to be accountable, to be transparent, to provide the truth to Canadians because to this point, that's not what we've seen from his government. So tomorrow at two o'clock, there is an opportunity for the prime minister to appear at committee and to lay these issues to rest, to give the truth to Canadians. That's what we're here to get. Thank you very much. We'll take your questions. Right here. Hold on. We'll now start the question period.